Okay, this video is just a short video to show the uh, assembly of the accessories into the power head on the super kit. There's three accessories. I've got the line trimmer and brush cutter accessory, the chainsaw and the hedge trimmer accessory. They all assemble in exactly the same way. First thing to do is to remove the plastic cover on the end of the accessory shaft. Loosen the large clamp lever and then what we have to do is to put the aluminium tube inside the joiner and align the square drive of the shaft into the joiner uh, to join a piece which is also a square so we have to align these so the first thing to do is to place the aluminium shaft into the joiner and push it in until it stops then pull out the the little ring pin and push in until it stops now in this case it now needs to align with the the hole so it doesn't pull out like so now if it doesn't go all the way, like this one hasn't, it's only a matter of just turning the accessory a little bit and hopefully slots in like so. You'll know when it's in because you can only turn the shaft each way a little bit. Then just do up the clamp knob like so, firmly, and you're ready to go. To start the, the power head, it's, uh, it's a key start operation, so we have a key on the side. We have an ignition switch on the top, this little, this little button here. And the other important lever is the, is the choke lever on the back. Underneath is a small fuel bowl. So we fill up the container with fuel and then we pump the fuel bowl at least six times, six to ten times. You can't flood it by over pumping the bulb. The bulb should be firm and full of fuel ready for use. We lift up the choke lever all the way, like so, that's the red lever, and we move the ignition switch to the on position. Press the eye. On the side is the key switch, and we move it from the off position to the on position and then move it into start. Like so. We let it warm up for a few seconds and then move the choke lever downward. Now initially, in the idle position, the accessory head is not moving, whether it's the chainsaw, the brush cutter, the hedge trimmer, it doesn't engage. The only way we can make it engage is to push down on the lock lever and move the accelerator upwards. And now it will start. And the, the, more you, the more you squeeze the trigger, the faster the drill will go. Like so. Now to turn the, the trimmer off, we can either turn it off with the, with the switch into the O position, or we turn the switch off on the key. Either way will stop it. Whichever method you use, after it's stopped, you should go back and turn the other switch in the off position, so both are in off. Like 